All right, so today is December 17th, 2003. We're here in Seattle at the Dental Office with Mr. Roy Matsumoto, and I'm Alice Ito, and Tommy Keto, also from Dencho, are interviewing Dene Hoshide on videography. So thanks very much, Mr. Matsumoto. This very is my stay. great to have you here. <laughs> and we just want to start with the, your family background. And the first question I wanted to ask was your paternal grandfather's name and where he came from in Japan. Uh, my uh, grandfather's name was uh, Wakamatsu Matsumoto and came from a place called Jigozen. Uh, right now is the city of Hatsukaichi. Uh, nearby the city of Hiroshima and in Hiroshima Ken. And what, how did he make a living in Japan? What was his family doing? Well, uh, his family was uh, half uh, a farmer and half a uh, uh, fisherman. And uh, right there you see uh, a lot of hilly places and not many uh, arable places. Uh, so, uh, after crop is done, you see nothing else to do, so they have to go uh, to the uh, uh, inland sea to fishing to support themselves. Uh, and and, excuse me, and what was your paternal grandmother's name? Uh, uh, Haru Matsumoto. Well, uh, her maiden name was Motoyama, Motoyama clan, and, and uh, uh, b it was a big family there. Well, uh, you told us in our earlier discussion that th your grandfather immigrated to Hawaii uh, very early. And could you yes. tell a little bit about why he went to Hawaii? Well, so happened that uh, uh, my uh, grandfather was uh, uh, the youngest uh, son of the family. And uh, uh, I don't know how many uh, the brother and sister that she, he had, but uh, uh, only things uh, he uh, uh, do is uh, help uh, 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 elder brother because in the Japanese custom, uh, it, the elder brother inherit everything, uh, including a debts, uh, well, uh, farm or house, everything. So uh, the younger uh, brother and sister, you see, uh, they uh, don't have anything. So uh, naturally, in order to support themselves. Uh, have to find a uh, job outside of family. And then so happened that uh, at the time, uh, the uh, Japanese government uh, uh, solicited the uh, uh, contract to labor uh, going to Hawaii and uh, uh, work for a uh, pineapple uh, field or sugar cane you know, uh, field to harvest uh, the sugar cane. And so um, my uh, grandfather evidently applied for that. And, and I think you told us that he went to Hawaii about 1890. Uh, so no, before no, that, before I uh, checked. Uh, it, uh, uh, my uh, uh, nephew just uh, uh, sent me the book about uh, my mother and other uh, uh, family members and uh, mentioned that there was uh, 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 1888, uh, so almost 90, but 87 or 8, uh, I presume. And then when he was about 20 years old, he married young and uh, married my grandmother and uh, uh, went to Hawaii. And uh, most likely, Kauai first, because uh, my uh, uncle was born there and says Kauai. That means uh, probably sugarcane factory, uh, I mean a field in Hawaii. So uh, your your grandfather and your grandmother both went to Hawaii. Hawaii, yes, and together. And your oldest uncle was born there in Kauai. Uh, oldest uncle, and uh, then also uh, uh, my auntie too. too. Then uh, when the, uh, my grandfather's contract was over, uh, he uh, let uh, his wife and uh, his uh, <coughs> son and daughter go back to Japan. Then he himself came to Seattle, I understand. Then uh, then uh, went down south to Southern California and start farming. Then uh, he know how to farm because uh, his family was a farmer. Well, and so then um, 
at some point he decided to um, call over your father from mm -hmm. Japan. Yes. 